Hello everybody. Are you tired of struggling to make realistic images with free AI tools? I know the feeling. Most people rely on free tools like AA Generator but the results don't quite hit the mark. Well that changes today. In this video, I'll introduce you to an incredible free tool called TensorArt that lets you create stunning realistic human portraits. So let's get started with it. First of all, open up your browser. Once you open it in the search bar, search for tensor.art. And once you search for it, you'll have to go ahead and sign in to your Tensor account. Now once you are signed in, you'll see this kind of interface in your screen. This site is completely free. What makes it awesome is the variety of models you can choose from. Whether you are into cartoons, anime, fantasy arts, or photorealistic portraits, there is a model for you. So for this video, we're gonna be focusing on a model called Juggernaut Aftermath. It's a game changer for creating lifelike portraits. So let's go ahead and get started. Now once you select the Juggernaut Aftermath, simply tap on a run and you'll see this kind of interface. Obviously we're using Juggernaut Aftermath. If you want to go ahead and change it, simply tap on it and then you can change it from here. You can also go ahead and select image to image where you can easily create an image by providing a reference image to it. And from here, you can choose animate in order to animate the image. So for this video, I'm going to be using text to image and choose the juggernaut aftermath models. Once you're here, scroll below and then you'll find aspect ratio. From here, you'll find different options like portrait, landscape, square and also custom. So for this video, I'm going to be using portrait. Scroll below and then tap on advanced settings. And from here, you can choose how many clips that you would like. Now, once you're done with this customization, simply go ahead and give it a prompt. As you can see, I have given the prompt. As you can see, I have given the prompt over here. But if you'd like to add a negative prompt, simply tap on negative and then type in the negative prompt as well. So the negative prompt includes worse quality, low quality, normal quality, low details, oversaturated, and so on. Once you're done, you can go ahead and select how many images that you would like. But for a free version, you can only generate up to two images. So let me select two images and then tap on generate. Well, as you can see, our image has been generated really quickly. So let's go ahead and see it. Well, it is exactly what I asked for in the prompt. The freckles, the big smile, the dark makeup and the hair perfectly matches my prompt. So let's go ahead and see another one. In this picture, you can see the haircut is different from the previous one, but the freckles, the eyes, and the smile lines are exactly what I asked for. But if you are unsatisfied with it, you can go ahead and add another prompt. You can also add another negative prompt to make the image exactly what you asked for. So let me go ahead and add sitting on a coffee shop in the prompt. Now once you are done, simply tap on generate again. Now as you can see, our image has been generated. And in comparison to the previous photo, it is actually sitting on a coffee shop that I have mentioned in the prompt. Well, in order to download it, simply tap on image and then tap on this little download icon. If you show this image to your friend or family, they will not believe that this is not a real photo and it is AI generated. Well, that is how you can easily create a free AI realistic image. And that's it for today's video guys. Thank you all for watching the video till the very end and stay tuned until our next upload.